simplifying radicals when we have variables in them. Okay, so the easiest thing to do is to first rewrite the exponents in fraction form. Okay, so what I did here was uh, notice that the exponents underneath the radical become the numerators and the number outside the radical here, this becomes the denominator. Okay, so that's how you convert it from the radical form to the exponent form. Okay, now we have to convert the fraction values into mixed numbers. Okay, so 6 fifths becomes 1 and 1 fifth, and 5 over 5 becomes 1. All right. So what we do next is for each fractional exponent, we put it back under the root. And the whole number ones, every whole number part, we can leave it outside of the root. OK, so we had 1 here, and then we had 1 fifth. So we have 1 on the outside, 1 fifth on the inside. This is just we only have one whole. It goes on the outside. OK, and then remember that this is 1 fifth. OK, so 1 is the exponent. And then the 5 goes back out side of the radical right here. Okay, so that completes our problem.